Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. We got some little problems in uh, Solomon Islands, which did not allow a uh, American vessel to dock uh, at their ports, and the United States uh, of America is very, very upset about it. Now, a little bit of a background on this. China went to the Solomon Islands and um, you know, signed a pact with Solomon Islands, you no know, friendship and like two sovereign countries, independent countries. And um, that uh, was something that uh, Australia, New Zealand, the United States didn't like because uh, uh, somehow that was in their vicinity and somehow destroyed the balance of safety balance of Australia and the United States and New Zealand. Now, a little bit of geography. If you're not familiar with uh, where Solomon Islands are, we have here Australia, right? And then we have the Solomon, Solomon Islands all right here, right here. But that is 2,000 miles, okay? It's right here, right there, over there. So that's 2,000 miles, 2,000 kilometers from, Aus from Australia, this little distance right here. It's about 1,000 miles and it's 2,000 kilometers. Now, let me show you where the United States of America is. This is the Pacific Ocean, and here is where the United States of America is. So, from there, from here to here, from here to here, is the whole Pacific Ocean, okay, to get there. And somehow, this location threatens this location here, okay, over the Pacific Ocean. And this location with Australia, which, as I said, is 2,000 kilometers away, far from it. Now, let's see, uh, the Chinese and the Solomon Island, the pact has something to do with uh, security, the security of Solomon Island, uh, where the Chinese could bring some, uh, you know, to police the island, like if, it, if, it, uh, if there are any, you know, security problems in the street, they bring the police over there. Whatever they want to do, they have two independent countries. What do you want? I mean, if we are to follow the rule of law. And I think the um, uh, Chinese also have the right to build a port over there where they can, you know, service some ships in case. Now that's uh, a little bit made the uh, United States and Australia, just to say, a little bit uneasy. And this is the latest, latest incident where I would say this is a provocation, but if we agree with, uh, you know, free uh, traveling and people can come and stop it or ask for permission to dock in certain points obviously those uh, ports can deny those ships to dock in their ports now we have this article from Reuters from to, uh, from yesterday actually from August August 25th US Coast Guard vessel unable to refuel in Solomon Islands official said so a United States Coast Guard vessel was unable to enter Solomon Islands for a routine port call for a routine port call because the Solomon Islands government did not respond to a request for it to refuel and provision, a US official said. Remember 1869, was it? When Commodore Perry of the United States uh, Navy he stopped, he stopped in, uh, I think, in the port of Yokohama in Japan, and he used his cannons to bombard Yokohama. I think it was Yokohama. Uh, therefore, making uh, Japan open up for business. So maybe the Solomon Islands uh, are familiar with this little incident, <laughs> uh, historical incident, and they wanted to, uh, you know, avoid it. Obviously, uh, they will try to avoid any interference with the United States, which said that all of a sudden, when China and Solomon Islands signed this pact and they got friendly and cozy, the United States announced that they want to reopen their embassy in the Solomon Islands, which was closed, I think, in 1970s. So, what a coincidence. And now, just a Coast Guard vessel wants to refuel over there and just have a sightseeing a little bit. Can you believe that? I think that's a big provocation in the context of what's going on over there. So, 
Let's see what do we have further here. It says that uh, the island government did not immediately answer a Reuters request for comment. The Solomon Islands has, has had a tense relationship with the United States and its allies. All right, but well, that's since, since striking a security pact with China in May, which is its right, isn't it? And as I said, why would that be a tense relationship with the United States? Didn't I show you where the United States is? Right on the other side of the Pacific Ocean and Australia. I mean, you can say you, point, you can point out, that, uh, point out that China, which is right here somewhere. I see. I see. Yeah. It's right here, China, and here are the Solomon Islands. So you can say, well, it's a kind of a distance, isn't it? But they didn't claim any security issues when uh, you know, the Australians had influence on that island or the United States had influence in before, let's say, 72 or something. So it says here that uh, the US vessel was diverted to Papua New Guinea instead, the official said. So it was not allowed to go to the to um, Solomon's capital, so that was diverted. And then uh, it says that uh, I'm trying not to waste your time here. Ships program programmers are under constant review, as it is a routine practice for them to to change. So ships programmers are under constant review, and it is routine practice for them to to change. So that means. Uh, it was not really for reasons of operational security would not discuss details. Solomon's government and Beijing have ruled out a Chinese military base on the island, although, although, although a leaked draft showed the security agreement would allow the Chinese Navy to dock and replenish. They said they will build a, a new dock, a new port. That means maybe that's why they didn't want uh, the American little vessel that will Google eye the uh, what's going on over there? I said, no, 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 even though these guys can look from a satellite and figure it out. So, it says, um, the government of Solomon Islands did not respond to the U.S. government's request for diplomatic clearance for the vessel to refuel and provisions in Haniora. So, that's what they say. Uh, well, well, what do you expect? Um, they can uh, afford doing that and they can do anything about it if as long as we as long as we agree that they're uh, uh, you know independent sovereign countries the pact had raised fear of a chinese naval base established within 2000 kilometers 1200 miles of australia's northeast coast and they're all shaky a Chinese military presence in the Solomon Islands would put it not only on the doorstep of Australia and New Zealand, but also in close proximity to Guam, the US territory that hosts major military base. Now, did you hear this, the key word, security? So these guys felt that uh, if China would have, let's say, a military base, base in uh, 2,000 kilometers, from their territory, which is 1,200 miles from the territory, that would uh, put not only on the doorstep of New Zealand and uh, Australia, but also close proximity to Guam. So that means what? They're all scared? How about, uh, how about Ukraine and um, Russia? The Russians could not say anything about it. They were too close, but here, oh my God, a doorstep. So if uh, 1,200 miles away, it's doorstep, Ukraine and, and uh, Russia, what is that? Your bedroom already? All right, you're gonna uh, see more, I would say, provocations like this in the future with more than one little vessel. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.